Welcome back everybody. In this video, we're going to have to take these two statements here and determine whether each is true or false. So let's start off with this first statement. We got the slope of the tangent on f of x equals the square root of 1 minus 2x at the point negative 4 and 3 is negative 2 over 3. So to find out the slope of the tangent on this function, what we have to first do is find the derivative. And then once we find the derivative, we can just plug in this x value negative 4 and then see if we get that slope of negative 2 over 3. So this function here, I'm going to rewrite as 1 minus 2x to the power of 1 over 2. Personally, I just like to take any radicals and always change them to rational exponents right away. So then when we take the derivative, we're going to have to do the chain rule. Notice that there's a function within another one. So the outer function is like this bracket to the power of a half. So we bring the half down and we got one minus two X subtract one from the um, exponent. One half minus one is negative a half. Then we got to take the derivative of the inside bracket. So the derivative of one minus two X is just going to be negative. 2. And then to make this look a little nicer, notice this is a negative exponent, so we could bring that down to the denominator, keeping that negative 2 up top. And then we would have 1 minus 2x to the power of a positive a half. And then these twos here will cancel out. So we'll just be left with uh, negative 1 over 1 minus 2x to the power of 1 half or the square root of 1 minus 2x. So now this is the derivative and now we can plug in this value of negative 4 into the derivative and when we do that this would still stay as negative 1 then we'd have 1 minus 2 times negative 4 which is the same as like 1 plus 8. 1 plus 8 is 9, square root of 9 is 3. So the answer is negative 1 over 3 and notice that that's not equal to negative 2 over 3. So this statement here is false. Next statement, the derivative of the function f of x equals 240 times 1 minus x over 30 is f prime x equals negative 8x. So to find the derivative of this, what I would suggest first doing is distributing this 240 in the bracket as then your function might be a little bit easier to work with, in my opinion. So 240 times 1 is 240, and then we would have 240 times x over 30. Well, notice how 30 goes into 248 times, so we'll have 240 minus 8x. And remember, this is still the function. We still haven't taken the derivative. We're just sort of manipulating the function first in order to make that differentiation process a little smoother. So now we got this function 240 minus 8x and then the derivative of this is simply going to be negative 8 when we apply the power rule. So the derivative to this function here is negative 8 always no matter what x value you plug in. So this statement is false. The derivative is not negative 8x, it's just negative 8, the constant. So this here is false. Both statements are false. 